The idea started about five years ago because we started a partnership here in India and I have seen all the slums and all the kind of things so we said we have to do some things, I mean we as a young company. In Asia at this particular point of time, especially in South Asia, while there is a lot of development, there is still a very large number of people who are living below the poverty line. And this poverty is something which makes people do very odd things, including abandoning your own children. One of the biggest challenges organizations like us face is how do you take care of children who are either being abandoned or in the danger of being abandoned so that they can overcome the trauma quickly. Otherwise, the damage which will be done to these kids is irreparable. Children have come to us after natural calamities like earthquake or super cyclone. The other circumstance is, you know, there can be a lot of man-made tragedies also. There are situations where parents have died due to quarrel or due to committing suicide. It can be various such reasons. We need to create an environment where slowly they can overcome this trauma. It's a long process. It can't be done overnight. We take care of the kids for a long term. We met uh, the German management of SOS Kinderdorf, so the project started. Spring is showing its commitment to children. They are financing this village also the family support program. They are committed for years to do this. Esprit have provided and supported these children with a future because that's what it's all about. It's for these children the difference of having no future and having a future. The whole idea was to create an ambience of a home where the family grows up together, lives together. And they grow up like any normal family children with a lot of joy, where they enjoy their childhood. And then, of course, they should go to school, they should study, they should, like any normal children, they should come up well in life and integrate to the mainstream of the society. in Esprit Children's Village in Alibab. It's a village that was created, an intentional community to care for children that in one way or another don't have families. And I guess the thing that's particular about it is that they, they try to set up a family structure so that there's, um, even though the children are orphans, there's a mother who lives in a house with, I guess, six to ten kids and ends up really acting like their mother. For the, the rest, rest of, of their, their lives, lives yeah. yeah. Ambassadors are very important and they're critical. They bring credibility to our work and they bring confidence for other people in our work. For Alibag, Maggie and Peter, what they are doing is they're giving us a vote of confidence and they're talking about us. So other people also feel confident about our work and then they come to support us. People do want to, you know, take your picture and write down things you say in a magazine and so say something important, you know. Yeah. I think we can all agree that it's it's an important thing to do. It's an important place to put our resources yeah. and children. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think that that's controversial. I don't think there's anyone that disagrees with that. In a country where there are 300 million people below the, the poverty line, and you see this incredible disparity between rich and poor, so obviously there are tons of children in this country that are in need. Hopefully this village is taking care of that need, you know. having a formal a Thanksgiving ceremony and this is also when all of us will dedicate the village to the kids. 
We have over 500 kids from different schools and they will all come and perform. And they're all waiting to meet their adult friends like Maggie and Peter. And it's a way to say thank you. we began the project, of course we did not believe that this will be the outcome. And I was very much astonished what I have seen. It's fantastic. I mean, this village is amazing. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> My name? My name is Ronald. My impression of, uh, of the opening of the village is actually not easy to describe because it was overwhelming and very emotional. Where you really see the, the result of the many years that we have uh, worked on finalizing this project. Oh, that's very nice. That's me. Aww. Hi. Look at your beautiful dress. Very nice to meet you. Hi. <laughs> nice to meet you. How about you? Nice to meet you. and horns and drums and kids and colors. It absolutely exceeded anything I could have imagined. I have actually never been anywhere and been greeted that way or been anywhere like that. I thought somehow the celebration was for us and then I realized that, you know, the celebration is really for them, you know, it's, it's like to really open something and really drum and sing and dance and all of that and to start it out that way hopefully will get through. I'm sure there'll be tough times and tough years and, you know, I think it's important to, to bring that sense of um, celebration. As an architect, we come in and build spaces. Initially, they are empty spaces. And it's when the children and the mothers move in that the soul of the design starts to live. One of the most amazing experiences was going into the home and seeing, you know, the family, seeing the mother with the children. Oh. I had never been to an orphanage before, and I definitely did have the idea that it would be um, a heartbreakingly sad and desperate place, and that's not at all what this has been like. And this one's yours? <laughs> this one's yours? Mm, very clean. Suspiciously clean. <laughs> you didn't clean them right before. Today, you didn't. Hmm. Are you sure children have been living here? <laughs> That's a very neat. <laughs> they have their clean up their space because we're visiting today. I understand. <laughs> honest. <laughs> and, 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 no, I think these mothers, they are taking care of six to ten kids. And not just taking care of them in the way that you would imagine someone who worked in an orphanage would, but they actually become their mothers. And I can't imagine anything more open-hearted and generous. What's in there? What is it? At mother school, we train her how to provide quality care, how to be a, a good mother to her children. And we may give her a lot of skills which enables her to bring up children in a better manner. She is asking, how do you uh, like my house? I love it. I really love it. <laughs> we have to prepare the kids for their future. So the mothers like the kids to get all the additional things, you know, music, painting, sports, 
We have a kindergarten here where neighborhood kids also come in. And very importantly, we have a lot of stress on education so that they can become self-supporting when they grow up. We only can hope that Aliburg succeeds to help these kids uh, to do the examination school, find a very good job, and become independent from any other support in the future. I think this is the best thing which could happen for this village. The community is very interested in this children's village and incorporating it into the rest of society. So they want to be a part of it. Tomorrow we're going to go visit the, the, uh, the town that it's a part of in the school. I'm very excited about that. In the last few years, we have expanded a lot into the community. We are trying to do our bit for families so that they have certain means to retain their child and not abandon the child. It's fantastic if you could help to keep them together because the children have a home, a home with their real parents. We have supported this village and all of a sudden we see another community getting also support from us and we are really very happy about this. <laughs> And I'm just at the mother when I'm looking at it. Yeah. The idea is that if they support the, the women and the children and educate them in the villages outside of the SOS Children's Village, then there'll be fewer um, children given up or orphaned who need that kind of total care. When girls go to school, they end up then going further in school, and it opens up a whole you know, a whole other world to them. I think you need people that are familiar with the area to be able to tell you exactly what is needed and what is most essential. And that's, I think, what's pretty great about what SOS is doing, is they are training somebody who is then the link between them and the village. We're just seeing the, the way that they lived and also passing out these uh, water filters. Which I think will make a huge difference. I mean, I think that's pretty massive. And we were playing with babies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think so. I think it's these simple things like water filters mixed with more long-term things, you know, which, um, which actually will make a difference. And I think the hope is that, um, you know, Esprit leading the way and doing this and really uh, supporting an entire children's village, setting one up just like, boom. The idea is another big corporation will do the same. So is this your school? Yes. These are all the children from the Alabag SOS Children's Village who go to this school. All the kids from SOS Village kind of led me around by the hand all day. I think this was like a, they were special today in school, you know, <laughs> it was like their special day. She, she really wants to take me to her class. To draw. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, an art class. Yeah. 
और बालग्राम में भी है बालग्राम में ज़्यादा है Well, you know, these children are hopefully going to grow up to be adults that are able to raise children of their own in a way that um, isn't like the experience that they went through, you know, early on. Everyone involved seems to really believe in what they're doing. You know, there's a real sense that this is different, and the way that everyone participates is is kind of ideal. So as Children's Village is a place where they can have their feelings, where they feel safe enough to have them, where they feel loved enough to have them, because no matter what, no matter what you're given, if you've been through the things that these kids have been through, you're going to need to have that. And, um, you know, I think anyone who's human can relate to that. After this experience and such a young company like Esprit, uh, I think we should continue giving support to Aliburg or wherever because we have a care trust in our company and of course we will dedicate certain uh, funds uh, to such projects, whether it's Aliburg or it's anything else, but I think it's very good for Esprit to do this because you cannot just take from the society and make money, but you should also give to the society and I think this is our mission. So we will continue to follow these children and their development. I intend to come back to see their personal development and to also show that with all our employees to see how the village is developing. Really, it's been so mind-blowing in so many ways. I think I'll need some time to digest it. I feel um, like it's so different from anywhere I've ever been in so many ways that I, I need a minute to, yeah, to, to swallow it and, and take it in. Right now I just feel like, um, like every pore in my body is open.